In today's video, we are going to learn about the newest feature of Figma, which is Scroll 2. So Adobe XD already had that and I think I, they recently launched it like maybe a month ago. So I'm going to show you how to use that Scroll 2 in a vertical direction along with horizontal one. So from here to here, if you want to rotate few items or horizontal scrolling and we are also going to learn vertical scrolling from top to bottom. So let's get started. Now first we are going to learn about the vertical scroll. Now for this example, I have already created this and I'm going to show you how actually it works. So here we have uh, a portion on a sim same page. And if I click over here, you can see it is going to scroll down with an animation to that point. So this is really easy. I'm going to show you how to do it. So let's uh, let me show you where I have actually did this. First, we are going to learn about the vertical scroll. So from top to bottom, it is very easy. Uh, I have already switched to my prototype tab over here and I'm going to zoom into the place where I want to place this prototype action or interaction. So I have selected this and then I'm going to add an interaction on the click. Uh, okay, so we are going to click on it so to uh, expand its settings on click. We are going to use scroll to you can see it is added over here scroll to and you can uh, select anything from here. You can see over here. Here are different groups I have made over here on the left. You can see these are my layer panels groups. So make sure you name them properly. So where is my footer so i am going to select my footer right now uh, let's select this and then we have animation i'm going to use animate is in and out and i'm going to use uh, like 1200 milliseconds for a nice animation uh, now we are going to run it very simple very easy now you can see our prototype has been loaded just click or uh, tap over here if you are on a mobile and it is going to go to the bottom like this so you can change the time if you want to i have like 1.2 seconds this really looks cool and uh, if you want to change the timing you can click over here you can make it a little bit faster 800 milliseconds let's see how this goes okay so this is a bit better now okay so uh, that is about the vertical scroll now let's talk about the horizontal one it is a bit uh, different and uh, how it actually works so let me show you now you can see this is my prototype of horizontal scrolling and if i click over here you can see it goes to the last item and if i click over here it goes back it goes to the last item goes back so this is a really nice animation or uh, you can say transition of scroll to in a horizontal direction now how it actually works first it actually works on a nested element so you can see on the left we have a frame and then we have uh, four frames within that frame. So this, these are actually nested frames and the bottom you can see this is, these are just the buttons. So these are, you can see first and last, these are just the groups. These are but buttons. So um, first you have to create a frame, for example, like this one, I actually uh, turned it into a frame. You can right click and you can, go to this frame selection so whenever you create a, um, something like this you are going to right click and frame selection also it is going to work on uh, auto layout so if you have added auto layout over here and if you want auto layout and you have three or four layers and you can uh, add auto layout by pressing over here or you can use auto layout by shift and a shift plus a make sure that it is always going to work with a nested nested elements nested frames like this so we have four frames which one two three four you just create these frames and then you select all of these frames for example like this one this one and this one and you are going to create uh, another frame selection you can uh, click over here and you can see now they are in frame two see so this is really easy let's uh, bring them out of the frame ungroup so you can see now these are just four separate frames 
and I can also see the last one. Now the trick here is once you have these four frames, uh, select all of them, right click, frame selection. Okay, so this frame, my outer frame, let's call it outer, oops, so I have to change my language selection. Outer frame, okay. So the outer frame must be uh, have the less width. For example, we have to hide things. So I'm going to make it uh, this big and I'm going to select this clip content. You can see now I am uh, I am ready to you know use this. So also I'm going to increase the height to show the shadows over here. They are a bit hiding um, at the bottom. So this is how you are going to, if you want to increase the spacing between them, you can do that also. Okay, so once you have done this, you have uh, outer frame and then we have four frames inside that frame. We are going to use prototype. So you can see, I'm going to delete these. Let's delete the interactions. Okay, now before you actually make it, you can see over here, we have to enable scrolling behavior. So you have to select your outer frame and you have to select horizontal scrolling because if it is not uh, selected over here, it is not going to show you the option. So if you, I select no scrolling, you can see if I go to interaction and on click, I am going to scroll to and it is not showing me the inner frames. You can see over here, I cannot select anything. So make sure you select the outer frame over here. So I have selected this. I have in the overflow behavior, I'm going to select this horizontal scrolling. And now if I go to this interaction over here for this button, you can see I can scroll to inner dishes. You can see now I have the selection. So I'm going to select dish four. So it is going to move in this direction. Oops, so I have to use dish one for this one because this is the first one. And for this one, I'm going to add it to this and it is going to move to dish four. Uh, settings will be same, ease out, or you can use ease in, ease out. I'm going to use 900 milliseconds for this one. And also for this one, I'm going to use 600. So let's see how it actually looks. Now it has been loaded. I'm going to click next to move to the last one and back next and back. So this is how you use horizontal scrolling. There are two rules. Number one, that your frames must be inside another frame. You have to nest them, nested frames. Second is that for the outer frame, you have to use this horizontal scrolling in the overflow behavior in prototype. Then you can add interaction and you can move to your items. So that is all about horizontal scrolling, scroll to animations and prototyping in Figma and also the horizontal and uh, vertical. So sorry, vertical and horizontal. So I hope you have enjoyed this lesson. If you have any questions, you can always ask me. And um, I would say that uh, we will meet in a new lesson soon. Till then, take care and bye.